Good morning, my name is Lee Barnard. I'm the District Fire Manager for South West Sydney Local Health District. Our job is to ensure the fire services across the whole district are maintained to the highest level and that any staff, patient or member of the public that comes into any of our facilities are looked after, they're cared for and ensure that the fire safety for them people is met to the highest level. So this is level seven, this is where the helipad is, this is where the emergency head doctors come in bringing patients from all over New South Wales. Um, firstly they will come in through here into a lift that takes them straight down to the theatres or into emergency department. And this is one of two helipads here at Liverpool Hospital. This is the primary helipad, so this is one that's in use 24-7. And then behind you, to the, to the right here, is a secondary helipad that's currently under redevelopment. So that's basically Liverpool had the capacity of bringing in two helicopters at any time. Also, this helipad is rated for the Army, so the Army Blackhawks can actually land on here and bring in any casualties which they have done over the past years. Behind me as well is the phone firefighting system. Uh, this is unique to Liverpool Hospital and to any hospital in, in the state uh, to have a phone system for the helicopters when they land. Where we are in here, this is a major communications room for the whole of the South West Sydney Health District. All the IT, uh, communications, uh, all the software is all housed in this room. Um, so for us in fire safety, this is a really important room to keep safe. So we have three different fire safety systems in here to ensure the fire safety. We have sprinkler systems, we have dry sprinkler systems, and we have fire detection systems in this room to protect what is a massive infrastructure. Some in reach for $5 billion worth of infrastructure is in this room at one one time. So where we are now, this is the sprinkler stop valve room. There are 16 sprinkler alarm valves in this room to cover the whole of the clinical services building in Liverpool Hospital. A very complex system, um, but it gives us a really good fire suppression system across the hospital. Um, the whole hospital was covered in sprinkler heads. The sprinkler heads will actuate or go off at 68 degrees. When a sprinkler head goes off, the water is pushed through the system and one of these alarm valves will go off. It will set an alarm bell outside and make an alarm in here for us to know exactly where the, the, the sprinkler head has gone off. That is also linked into a fire detection system here, which gives us a precise location of where the actual sprinkler head has gone off. So we can find it very, very quickly and reduce the amount of water damage that a sprinkler uh, can cause. Um, unlike you see in the movies, where a whole building gets covered in water, this only allows for one head to go off and to a maximum of eight heads, eight heads before uh, we've overrun the water supply. But again, a very important fire safety feature in a modern hospital. These on here are block plans. Uh, these block plans will show us exactly the zones that each alarm valve relates to and gives us a, a basic location of where the valve is actuating. This detection system will then pinpoint the exact area. So this is the fire control room, the main fire control room for Liverpool Hospital. There are something in excess of 35,000 smoke detectors that come back to this room. Uh, in order for us to uh, identify and locate a fire alarm, it will come back through one of these fire panels, one of these main fire panels, and linked into this main fire panel are 36 other sub-fire panels. What it does for us when an alarm goes off, if someone is smoking in the room, they're not supposed to, if there's a faulty detector, steam from a shower, if someone's burnt their stuff in the microwave, the smoke detector will pick it up, it will all come back here, it will set the alarms off in the hospital through the EWI system, it puts an alarm through this little red box that calls the fire brigade and alerts us to let us know the fire alarm. When we do get a fire alarm, us as fire officers will respond, the security staff will respond and we will meet the fire brigade when they attend. Before the fire brigade attend, we are responsible for the safety of all personnel within the hospital. When the fire brigade do attend, they take over control. Should we have a real fire, the fire brigade will deal with it once they're finished, we take over control and restore normal, normal, normality into the hospital. So that's our job. Apart from many other things that fire officers do, as in fire inspections, uh, we do lots of fire safety training to all staff and patients and uh, contractors in the building, and we ensure that when a building's being built in our hospitals, in our, in our district, we ensure that it complies to all our fire safety standards so that when we start to move into the building, we're not met with any uh, defects or stuff that can't allow us to operate inside the building. This is a graphic system that shows us 
exactly where in hospital the alarm will come up. It will come up onto the screen. Uh, it will show us the exact location of the detector. It will also print something off on the printer to show the fire brigade a route of how to actually get to that, uh, that fire detection. So just show you exactly where we were on the keypad earlier. So on the graphics, we look up onto, the, onto our graphic screen. This is the level seven where we came out. This is the lift that we walked out. And then through them two doors there, we went out onto the heat pad outside there. So we show, can see there are actually five smoke detectors, uh, sorry, four smoke detectors and one break glass alarm on that area. So that's, that's how detailed a map, a map can be. So level five will show us all the different zones. And within each zone, will show us all the detectors within that zone. And when one of the detectors goes into alarm, it will flash red and print off on the, on the printer there where the alarm is. Really good system uh, and fail safe for us.